So for my um, Swift game, Aria and I decided to recreate Word Muffins, which we originally created in Java, but this time in Swift, so in an app format. So to design our app, we made uh, four different Swift files. So three different Swift files, sorry. So we have the first view controller, which is the main control for the game with all of the GUI stuff and everything you need to make stuff show up on the screen correctly. We have the Word Muffins class, which stores all of the words that could possibly show up as a master word, as well as any valid subwords and other data needed in order to um, do the work of the game. We also have the master word class, which is just an individual class storing the specific text that's in the word, as well as the word list and all of the subwords that are within that one word that the user could potentially guess. We also have sorting so that when we eventually get to displaying the subwords on the screen, you can see them based on if they're guessed and based on the length of the words. So we used um, sorting methods and we learned a lot about how to append and arrays and all of those types of things. Um, just going to the storyboard quickly, we do have two tabs right now. We're probably only going to end up using the first one, but it's nice to know that we can do this. Say we wanted to like add some sort of menu. So the view controller, as you can see, if I can just minimize this. So you can see we have rebake, restart, scramble, and give up buttons. What rebake does is it scrambles um, a new word. So if you click it, it creates completely new letters that are sorted and that are from an original word that's in our word document. If you want to scramble the letters, it'll resort them. And if you want to restart, currently that doesn't have any function, but it would reset your score as well as the word. But right now, as you can see, the letters go through. And since it's not a word, it's not going to go through, so it'll just go back easily. So I can just put Sam in here. And since we don't have the subwords yet, we can't really submit a word. But we do have those methods ready, so I'll show you those. So if we go into the first view controller, we've got a lot of methods here. Um, we declare all of our instance variables that we need with the current guess, saved as a bunch of buttons, same with the word entry. We've got all the letter buttons and it put them in arrays. We declare the master word and we access its, its text as an instance variable. There's a reset buttons that's used when you're uh, restarting or scrambling and all of that. We have methods to get the master word and shuffle it, filling the word entry, with all the letters at the start, getting your current guess that's in the blue boxes at the top, getting the guess field, returning a UI button that you are that you need for um, something. That's f I think that's for um, when you're submitting a subword or when you're clicking to remove a letter. Enable last guess, that gets your um, last word back up in case you wanted it again to add on to it, like say you needed like a plural or things like that but it's also used for um, other functions. Um, shuffle, shuffles all the words. You use the shuffle feature in Swift. Submitting your guess is the bake word button. Getting a new word is rebake, and restarting and shuffle letters are self-explanatory. And then we have give up for when you're done with the game, and it'll quit out of this. And then the letter press method, that just changes the colors and the text and puts it on the guess box so it knows where it is and the index. Same, same idea with the guest box press, which just brings it back down and resets all, everything. Um, yeah, so I think that's basically the gist of the game. Um, I had a good time making it. It was pretty challenging, especially when, and I know you were part of this, when you were trying to do the subwords. But say I were to go back to it, like Ari and I wanted to do as a final project, I think we could probably get that down. It's just that I kind of lost like the will to do it at some point because I kept trying everything. But I think it's definitely possible, especially after experimenting with indexes to do stuff like this and gained a lot of uh, GUI stuff, UI stuff. Uh, could learn a little bit more on constraints, but that's okay. And then eventually, obviously, we want to be able to submit the word and have your guesses and unguessed words that are blanked out show up here so that it's easier to guess, as well as score variables and things of that nature. So overall, I had a good time making this, and I'm looking forward to learning more soon. Hope you're well.